does come up. Wait, if I do, I'll just start coughing. Just, you should have a coffee down there.
uh, issues that we're having with them. And I find myself in a position where, get it open, <laughs> here comes the book, I find myself in a position where I feel like in a board position where I could be privy to the collection uh, activities to some of the personnel uh, issues that we're facing in the clubhouse and all of the other things that are going on, I might be best able to serve uh, in, a, in a board position. So I'm setting up uh, uh, and hoping that uh, I can help out. Thank you, Rob. With that, uh, I'd like to do something just a tad different. We'll just have a brief discussion amongst ourselves before we actually uh, vote on anyone. I think now, when we get out here, if we want to use this thing, I'd like to just get together and have a little
what do we need to hear? How do we want to approach this? Do we want to put it on our message boards to try to fill the vacancy? Or do we um, want, Vanessa, as typically is done in the past, to go ahead and put an ad in the paper? I, I say both. Both? I think yeah. we get more candidates. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about Craigslist? Why the paper? That, that, that's just typically how they have done it. Back I would pass that talk to them. So. No, I, I think Craigslist would be a good alternative. I don't think anyone can do it. Monster.com. I don't really get any response from the Sentinel anymore. People don't really. Do you get a response from Monster? Like, I, oh, it's okay. a little okay. When I worked in HR, I never ever got any responses from anybody. I always thought it was Monster. Or
stuffed toilet, which now Ricardo is the first in. Um, you know, and just. <laughs> Do we need two more people or would be sufficient? 
Well, two parts. in the summertime, I think we're going to need that other person. Yeah, the summer's going to be yeah. Right now, is it more feasible? Like, have you guys already done the like financial like numbers and everything? Is it more financially feasible to do those two part time people over the full time person? And then on top of that, are you going to get just the same work on hopefully better work <laughs> um, than with a full time person? And a we're, we're still in the discussion stage with that. The budget includes, I, I, I propose that we just, you know, replace the current situation. I mean, unless you feel that 32 hour, two 30, 32 hour people would be better, because then we'd be saving uh, 20%, okay, um, which would be great. Yeah, but then it's also the time, money, value kind of thing. You also want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, but it, I mean, if, they, if somebody wants the job, they're going to take the job. Okay. How, how Yeah. Yeah. Website. 
doing that too. I mean, I'm actually doing some of stuff with the <coughs> yeah, I, I did talk to Jeff, and Jeff has offered us to help with yeah. anything. So yeah. that job description is for the guy wanted to go on. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Now, are you guys against having a person in labor when it works here? No. No, you don't want someone? Or no, we do. I mean, you do. We are. We are. We are. We are. No, not with the natural structure. Okay. 
the other one, yes, you would, because the ones in the YMCA were probably put in by either Mason or uh, a company called uh, uh, Superior Structures, the Superior SII, Superior National Corporation, or something like that. But they're the ones that have four bolts holding those tubes on. And I didn't care for that because the inside of that is not flush. They, they, they put two out. And they make those things. If they turn, you'll get that bolt on the bottom, and that's where the kids go over and they scratch the bolt. Mm -hmm. So it's just not a real good fit for the community. Yeah. I know if we put one of those in, they'd be screaming. So hopefully by the next board meeting, we'll have all that, all our information. I, I'm hoping that we do if I can get through. You can put snow on there, too. Yeah, put snow on there.
not for me. We need to swing out. Yes. I think this idea is good. Send something out, get an idea of where people feel. And as I understand, people might bust out a stand for me. But that's where you put out a flyer. Are you for or against it? Understand we may make the decision if the majority opposes. That's what we're representing. You'll need to go if, if, if they oppose it or agree. Whatever the majority is, that's the way we'll go. The, everyone else needs to go for themselves, which has been said, and I agree, and that's what I'm trying to do. But as far as I'm concerned, if other people are taking a stand, I would say you do need to, to get involved as far as that goes. You know, we've already thought right, but women but whenever you do it, here, okay, whenever you do the flyer, the piece that now, if you find out that it's 80% for or against 20, whatever it is, doesn't mean you have to make a stand yet. You're going to get educated now because everybody does need to get educated. Okay, well, the thing about mailing them, you're going to have uh, residents in here saying, I don't want my money used to be uh, to mail this out. That's like, so like going out. Yeah. So yeah. the election is going out. So now you also have to worry about what you're going to put in the ballot because we all know the more words, the more you explain stuff, the more people get confused. Yes. Yeah. Right. To so, me, now so I, I attend the exactly. meeting. Okay, I did attend the meeting. The guy that I talked to, I left my email and contact number. I'm getting emails, you know, which the meeting tonight was canceled. Okay. He said, get news to for one person or two or three people to represent the community, he says, we need numbers. He said, we need numbers like we got here tonight. There was 300 people at that meeting. He said, I want to see at least 300 people at a meeting. He said, if they're all there wearing red shirts, they're going to know these people are showing up and are against this project. Yeah. That's what you need. It's not just the board. Just one yeah, I agree. That's, that's so if, if you are against it, show up at these meetings, wear yeah. red shirts, and and give them the, the support. Numbers are what people see on TV. The Orlando Sentinels had it. Exactly. It was on TV. Um, that is what, what makes an impact. You're, you're, you're right. Numbers matter. But here's what number matters: the mo money that these builders are putting into the commissioner's uh, re-election campaign. We can yes. show up for the thousand people, mm -hmm. and they really don't care because they lost a thousand votes here. They got money to go out and get votes somewhere else. It doesn't matter. But we're only trying to win by a few votes. Where situations like this have worked are when large communities come out and go against something. That's the they only time where they something has been going on. Here's the whole problem. With the letter that said, I have to support 1,267 homes. But they don't want to see 1,267 homes. They want to go right now. Right. Like the back side of the house. Back side of the house. Obviously, there would be a place for some six 